welcome to one of the greatest spectacles in motorsport as we are ready for the cars to roll off out of the pit lane. If at this moment you don't feel a twinge of excitement, if your heart is not beating a little bit faster, then you have no place calling yourself a motorsport fan of whatever colour, shape or form. Put aside all of the worries of the past, this is a united sports car series in every way, shape or form, and it's coming of age today. If it does have a good clean start here, we're gonna have a nice trouble free 24 hours. Yeah, copy that, buddy. Happy to be here. Let's uh let's go get this one. All right, bud, lights out on the pace car. We're going green this time by. Go green this time by. Now it is survived. The first couple of laps here. Green, green, green. Still outside right here. Green, green, green. 55 cars come to the line for the start of the 55th annual Rolex 24. We are green at the tri-oval, at the strike, and it is Barbosa leaps into the lead over Cameron, but look at the outside, Ricky Taylor. But it's a Cadillac one, two, three with Johnny in four. Still out there. It's still Joey Han leading in the Ford GT, but the always aggressive Tony Wielander is left up in the second now. And in GTD, a lot of the other teams are saying those Ferraris with the speed they're showing qualifying, unless they back up, they're going to be awfully tough to beat. The Wieland engineering car goes to the inside. A new leader here at Daytona. In GTLM, there's battles as well. My goodness, where do we look at the moment? as the 62 Tony Volanda has caught right up with the leader. Oh, oh, has got the 14 Lexus. It's no. not a touch, it was just too much right foot. Probably the most experienced guy in the field. 26 starts here at Daytona, five overall wins, 10 class wins, but all that buys you nothing. Oh, just what you don't want to see. The rain is getting heavier. Can you talk to me about the track out there? What's the track like? It's getting wetter. Pretty treacherous. Get this lap. Let's put a bit of wet on. Looks like Jeff Gordon will be taking over the tent. Jeff's doing an awesome job. I mean, his lap times are right in the uh, ballpark in terms of most of the front runners. It's a great effort by him adapting to these conditions. This is a battle for the lead, Tommy. Wilkins protecting the inside. Oh, wow. Sam has got fresher tires on, just takes it in a little bit deeper. Oh, look at them jinking around, trying to fight their way through traffic. Outside, clear. And they think he's just dived down the inside. There's a blast of light. Max Angelelli, 50 years old, his final race of his career, goes back to the lead of the Daytona 24-hour race. Four <laughs> wide. I've never seen that before. Coming up, NASCAR turn four. In the wet. In the wet. In the wet. In the wet. And there are the fireworks that... Daytona is famous for in this great event, and they are always beautiful, whether it is raining or whether it's a, a clear sky night. Things continuing to cycle through. Put the laps in, keep your nose clean, and you just may leave Daytona Beach with a shiny new Rolex on your wrist. Four hours, 32, and just under a half minutes remaining. Look at the attack, Angelelli feeling it right now. Goes to the outside, a little bit more grip there, and makes it work. <laughs> we have a lead change on the restart. Look at that. That is some strength that we have not seen over on the wet yellow lines. Up on the wheel, whipping that horse, and it goes to the front, and that's a very, very powerful move by James Colado. There's number 63, Ferrari, the class leader in GTD, has come to a smoky halt. Taylor's got to run, he's got the draft, Felipe protects. Taylor to the inside, he's on the paint, down to the inside, Ricky Taylor takes the lead, he's wide. How did he save? How did he stop it? 
Yeah, exactly. Riding on board here with the leader in GTD, Jerome Bleekemolen, and the 33 Riley Technologies, Mercedes AMG. Here comes the Audi looking to the outside. It's a bold oh. move, but he's trying to make a move on one of the best in the business, and Jerome Bleekemolen keeps him at bay. Here's Christensen, he wants some of this. Absolutely, big damage to the front of the 93. Here comes your leader, Ricky Taylor. He's in all likelihood going to have to make a second pass of a lifetime. Well, I'm to jump and start here. But I can't pass until the green, so you might try to jump it. Rolling. Rolling. Green, green, green. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Ricky got boxed. <laughs> oh. The 90 car flies by. 66 team's performance and the 62 is very reminiscent of Le Mans last year. Everybody, up here right now. We don't have enough. Not the oh, he's the inside, he's oh, he Beautiful, it's setting him up the lap before he had out. Pile goes with him. Awesome piece of driving by Dirk Mueller. Now, why are the yellow flags out? It's a full course caution, and there's a car off the 93 machine. This is short yellow. Correct, short yellow. Prepare for the restart. Bottle will call the green. Gibson's warning car five about their acceleration. All right, Ricky, be ready. He's rolling. Rolling green, green, green. 20 minutes left in the 24 hours of Daytona. Clear. Let's go get him. And Taylor is closing it up. Oh, and he's got the speed. He's got the grip. They're side by side for the lead. They're going to touch. Oh. Clear. <laughs> They want this win so badly. I'll be amazed if we don't see a bump and run here at some stage of the game. Here comes the 10 car, braking, but not sufficiently. And a spin, and there may have been a time. Ricky just releases that brake pedal like Dirk Mueller did, but he was not close enough, guys. Stay focused, Ricky. Let's bring it home. Stay focused. Still so fast. Let's bring it home, Rick. Bring it home. Ricky Taylor, Wayne Taylor Racing, and Cadillac win at Daytona! And Ricky Taylor, good job, good job! With the 38 wing prototype charge. The Cinderella story maybe for Allegra Motorsports, Michael Christensen in that green and white number 28, and it will be Porsche! What a finish over Audi! It is Dirk Mueller, they won Le Mans, and Ford GT winning at Daytona. Nice job, Dirk. Yeah! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! I'm crying, guys. Thanks so much. But here is the turn that everybody wants, the turn into Gatorade victory lane, because you know what's awaiting there. It's a very special timepiece.